Hello there fellow electronic enthusiasts. I am quite sure we all make some or other types of projects as a part of our learning experiences or academics. We sure would want to display some data present on our microcontrollers from sensors or simply create a user interface. So, here is a quick tutorial about LCD displays in which you will learn how to wire and program a I square C LCD display. So let's get started. First of all, what is I square C? You might ask. I square C stands for inter integrated circuit, which is basically synchronous, that is, serial communication multi master multi slave technique, which was invented in 1982 by Philips Semiconductors. This technique is mostly used for short distance intra board communication. With that being said, let's move forward to our actual topic that is using LCD display in our project. By using this I square C technique, we can operate our LCD to display data from our sensors or any text from microcontroller by using only two pins that is SCL which is clock pin and SDA which is data pin and obviously we will need two more wires for power. So for this tutorial we will use an Arduino Uno microcontroller board which has SCL as pin number A5 and SDA as pin number A4 as evident by a schematic of Arduino Uno. After connecting the data pins, connect the 5 volts on the LCD display to the 5 volts on Arduino and ground to ground of Arduino. Also, if you are new to Arduino, make sure to check out my video about Arduinos that is, everything you wanted to know about Arduino and were afraid to ask, which will be linked down in the description. If you notice closely on the back side of this LCD, you will notice a pot which can be used to obtain a visible contrast according to your lighting conditions. So that's all for the hardware, let's move on to our computer for software part. Before proceeding any further, let's download and install this custom library for our I square C LCD on our IDE for which we will use liquid crystal underscroll I2C library which is provided by Frank. Link to it will be mentioned in the description. First, download the zip file, open the IDE under the sketch menu and include library tab, select the add.zip library option and you can choose the downloaded file and your library will be added. Please note, we can connect multiple I2C devices at the same time. But to distinguish between devices, a hexadecimal address is allotted to each I2C device, which we need to know before proceeding any further. To know this address, upload the following sketch into your Arduino's IDE with your I2C device connected and simply upload it. Once uploaded, open your serial monitor and the code will return you address of your I2C device. You can download all the codes from my Instructables post which you can find a link to in the description below. Now let's write a simple message on our LCD to understand the syntax and coding aspect of this library. First include the two libraries that is wire.h and liquidcrystal underscore i2c dot h. Then define the address and set up the LCD. In void setup. Initialize the LCD by lcd.init Then turn on the backlight by using lcd.backlight Next, you need to set cursor which can be done using the syntax lcd.setCursor in bracket rows, comma, columns Here we are using a 16 cross 2 LCD which means we have 16 rows and 2 columns We will print a message hello friends on the first line for that, I will first set my cursor to 1, 0 to print the text starting from second row in the first line. Next, we will type lcd.print in bracket 
and quotation marks you will print hello friends and that will be the end of this code after uploading this code you will observe that a text appears on the lcd as hello friends in the desired location we set the cursor to which means we have successfully set the display but this is something very basic what if we want to print a variable value or print some custom character well for that you need to subscribe to mission critical and hit the bell icon to get notified for the second part of this video but for you lovely audience i have a short tip simply remove the quotation mark and mention the variable name inside lcd.print statement to print the ascii data stored inside that variable for example here i am displaying the day time and date from a real time clock module to my iSQSI lcd so friends see you in the next one